It, it's warming up too. The wind's not too bad. It is the perfect day to head out and take that pooch for a stroll. Looking at the skies right now in Marshalltown, you can see some generally high and wispies out there. Otherwise, Algona, complete sunshine. We have got an absolutely beautiful day. Continuing to watch that snow that fell yesterday melt across northern portions of the state. And you can see the clouds that we have, even those are departing eastward. So we've got a decent chance to soak in this sunshine for a bit longer. And it has helped us to warm 44 for Ames, the metro as well as Grinnell. Still some upper 30s for those northern portions of the state. And you look at the breeze really just not an issue for us today. We're seeing five to 10 miles per hour out there. So uh, it's nice. Go outside, do something outside. Make sure you make that a priority this afternoon. Our temperatures bounce back up into the middle 50s this afternoon, and we will have some cloud cover out there and eventually bring in chances for an isolated shower. We've got a system that's going to be passing off to the southwest. You can see it here bringing in rain first to areas like Atumwa, Lamoni, eastward towards Iowa City. This may stay southeast of the metro. There's a chance at least we pick up on a few showers in the metro. Areas east of Atumwa, though, will have better chances for accumulating snow. So if you've got plans to head out to Iowa City and you're headed uh, I-80 eastward into the early morning hours tomorrow, you may run into some snow uh, as you're doing that. It has been warm, so we've got some warm surfaces out there that should help that melt still could turn into a little bit of a slush. So as we head into the remainder of your weekend, notice Sunday 2 a.m. Skies have cleared out again just in time for us to see another system start to work its way in. Very similar to the one that we're seeing tonight work its way through. Only the dip one main difference is cooler air on the north side of this could lead to some snow and generally a mix out of this system. Uh, so could see some light accumulations out of that. Your rain tracker, you can see we've got around a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of precipitation or rain that'll fall to the southeast. And then with that next system, it'll become a little bit more widespread out there. So a little bit of rain on the way and then looking at where the heaviest snow will fall. That is largely going to be Iowa City eastward with this system. So again, I 80 eastward. If you got plans to head out to Chicago, that may be a little bit more difficult to do so because of the um, snow that's going to be falling out there. 53 is what we're looking at today. That's pretty nice. That's our average high for this time of year. 33 tonight. Again, we'll have that chance for some rain and some snow, mainly through southeastern portions of the state. 52 for Pleasant Hill. Ankeny at 52. Bondurant the same. Prairie City at 52. Statewide, slightly cooler to the north, but still just a beautiful day as we are soaking in that sunshine with many of us topping out in the 50s. And we catch another 50 on Saturday at 52. Otherwise, we'll have more chances uh, for rain and snow again really early Sunday and then again late Sunday into early Monday. Looking at your eight day forecast here, that's going to keep us a little bit cooler for your Sunday and Monday with highs in the mid to upper 40s. We drag that cooler air into Tuesday after that, though. We are building. We're back in the middle 50s on Thursday, back into the low 60s by the end of your week.